Now we have bamboo gymnastics. <laughs> Gymnastic bamboo. Olaraga bamboo. Apparently the house is strong. Enough. Mao bantu. Mao say bantu. So we just replaced this bit of roof. Actually, I prefer Ruby Baik in the plastic in the the atas alang alang. Karena I don't know apa lebih bagus. Karena jika in the the what ulang tahun. Not in the New Year's Eve, and the uh, and not have the fireworks. What? <laughs> <laughs> How do you say fireworks? Olaraga <laughs> api. Huh? Sir, what? Abang. Sir bang api. So we're gonna lift this bit of um. Yeah, I'm worried for my roof with the kids. Kids playing fireworks. In the New Year's, it's like never very relaxing here because there's too many fireworks around. <laughs> I'm too scared to go out on New Year's Eve. No, I'm scared they'll land on the roof and set the house on fire. <laughs> So it's like New Year's is like the most unrelaxing time of the year. And before Corona, like sometimes it goes on for weeks before and after. You like and then you just get this random like Panamania, fireworks. Oraga api in the rocket. In the What knot is this? I never saw this knot before. I don't know, we're going to begin to make a swing. <laughs> so before I had plastic here covering this gap between the top of the alang alang and the... See, you can see the gap going down into my dining area where we were before. Because the thickness of the alang alang comes, makes it more water, less water penetrable. So and uh, so we're gonna add a bamboo up here and do a fish mouth with the usuk fish mouth onto it. I don't know how they're gonna join the bottom of the usuk. I guess maybe they're not gonna tie these down. I have no idea. But um so that the alang alang kind of creeps up the wall and also because we sometimes get water in on this side and this is the west side which faces the rain when it rains it comes from java in the rainy season and you can see like how faded this side of the house is too so that it's five years now and cracks are no problem and until they actually go all the way along like you can see there where we did the manual treatment for the, those ones they weren't in a bath and really those they should be staggered so like if this was to crack it's not gonna then crack this line all in one line there should be like if you do this hole turn it around so there's one centimeter gap and then for the next one so I can't see where I'm pointing turn it around again a little bit so the so if one does crack doesn't just crack down the whole pole that one's not, not a good example of what not to do. And then with, so you can see up here, it's still got its color where, where the sun's not hitting it. See quite a contrast there. From, berapa centi? Seven, yeah. All right, I have to go get some nails. Okay, so Maddie is actually joining this top along along on with nails. Yes, and yes, but in the the
let's take off here near the end because you install a long line from the inside but when you get to this last bit like you can't get your hand through to to thread thread it on so then there we go on the top which is interesting as I was saying before That one can come off. <laughs> so, uh, oh, well, uh, bling, bling. so this is the one that I've, this plastic here was covering it before and that's joined like a little bit up the wall. The base of that pillar level. Where they're trying to find the footholds I think underneath. Oh yeah, it's going through to the next layer, so we can pull the top along, along, up. In the bamboo panjang, untuk apa? Untuk? Untuk nanti di sini. Oh, okay. We're gonna join that on, and that's what we're gonna. We're gonna put the fish mouse onto. So he's just nailing that a little along, along in to something. <laughs> I'm always worried the bamboo is going to split if they nail into it. Oh, this one was done right. Look, it's got the hole there and then the other hole rotated around. Because that treatment technique was doing it laying down on the ground, down on the road, and then filling, filling each. Oh my gosh! Filling each node with the free mite. Stuff, the first hammer. Echo. Sana? Poder. Tok, 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 tok. Tok, tok, tok. Oh yeah, so this you can also see like where I put tongue oil. So tongue oil gives the bamboo like a bit more of an antique kind of look. It's definitely not shiny. Um, but I put too many coats on and it went like that is it focused? I can't see. I've got my glasses on. And it was became very sticky, and then you can see there like a bit of dust stuck to it. Everything started sticking to it. So I basically, I had to go around the whole house and scrape all that tongue oil off, and that was a pain in the butthole. Oops, sorry. And oops, I'm not out. Yeah, and you can see there it's also like it's still a little bit sticky. So yeah, it's not too bad, but yeah, but on the floor it was fine. So on the floor, it's uh, only two times two coats I did on the floor, and then I put a beeswax polish over the top. Right, I'm going to stop this video so it doesn't go over 10 minutes. Another one.